Hi. In this video, I want to create several page templates. I've imported the consulting company demo site. Now I need to create a custom template for the blog posts. The default template shows the post content without the post title. To change this, I'll go to Templates, Page Templates, and create a new template for the blog posts. I'll edit it with Live Builder. First, I'll add a row element. Next, I'll add a horizontal wrapper element to show the category and publication date next to each other. I'll add a post taxonomy element for the category. Next, I'll need a post date element for the publication date. I'll also add the published line of text before the date. I'll add some spacing below with the separator element. Next, I'll add a post title element. I'll duplicate the spacing below as well. Next, I'll add the inner row element and divide it into two columns. I'll show the post content in the left one and use the other for the list of relevant posts. I'll show the content via the post content element. I'll add some spacing below. Next, I'll add a sharing buttons element. In its settings, I'll add options for email and LinkedIn. Next, I'll add a text element to the right column. I'll type in the relevant heading and choose the relevant HTML tag. Next, I'll add a grid listing element below. I'll set it up to show the items with the same taxonomy of the current post. I'll also specify a single column layout for it. The template is ready. I'll save the changes and go to Impreza, Theme Options, Pages Layout. I'll specify my template for the posts and save the changes. Next, I'll refresh my post to check the new template. I see the template correctly applied with all its elements. My site's list of blog posts includes the posts with the case study category. I want to create a different template for these posts. For now, these posts share the template I just applied globally for all posts. I'll go to Templates, Page Templates and create a new template for case studies. I'll edit it with Live Builder. I'll start by adding a row element with zero vertical indents. I'll divide it into two columns. I'll add a post title and the publication date to the left one. The right one will include the post's featured image stretched to the container width. In the row's design settings, I'll add the shadow effect via the box shadow section. Next, I'll activate the stretch to the screen edge option inside the right column. In its design settings for spacing, I'll specify the zero paddings. Next, I'll add the post image element to the right column. In the rows settings for columns, I'll specify the middle vertical alignment for the content. I'll go to the design settings of the left column to add some spacing on the right via the padding. Next, I'll add the post title element with the relevant HTML tag. I'll specify a more compact font size value in its design text settings. Next, I'll add a publication date via the post date element. I'll add one more row element below. I'll divide it into three columns. I'll use the middle one for the content and leave the side ones empty to create spacing. I'll add the post content element. After this, I'll add some spacing below and add the sharing buttons element with the centered alignment. Next, I'll add one more row element. I'll add a recent case studies heading via the text element. Next, I'll add the grid listing element to show other case studies. I'll set it up to show the items with the same taxonomy of the current post. I'll specify the item's quantity, the gap between the elements, and a suitable grid layout. The template is ready. I'll save the changes and go to Posts, Categories. I'll open the Case Study category and specify the template for its page's layout settings. I'll save the changes and refresh the Case Study post to check the new template.
I can see all template elements correctly applied. My site has a small section with services added via the regular pages. I need to create a custom layout for these individual pages. I'll go to Templates, Page Templates and create a new template for services. I'll edit it with Live Builder. I'll start by adding a row element. Next, I'll add the breadcrumbs element for navigation. I'll add some spacing below. Next, I'll add a post title element with the relevant HTML tag. I'll add some more spacing below. Next, I'll add a post image element with a 16 to 9 aspect ratio. Next, I'll add the inner row element divided into two columns. I'll add content to the left and a call to action with the contact form to the right one. I'll add the post content element showing full content. Next, I'll add a vertical wrapper element to the right column to create a container with a shadow effect. I'll specify the spacing between the elements. In its design settings, I'll specify paddings and add a shadow effect via the box shadow settings. I'll add a text element with a relevant heading. Next, I'll add one more text element for the comment below. Next, I'll add a contact form element. I want this call to action to remain visible and scroll with the page scroll, so I'll activate the relevant setting inside the column. The template is ready. I'll save the changes, return to the services page and edit it with Live Builder. I'll use the page settings at the bottom left corner to specify an individual page template for this page. I'll save the changes and refresh the page to check the result. I see the template correctly applied with all its elements. Thanks for watching. In this video, I used page templates to create templates for the content of posts, posts with specific categories, and individual pages. In the following video, I'll show how to customize the list of posts via grid templates.